How's it going, everybody? I'm Drifty from Driftwood Gaming. Welcome back to Learning Godot. In this episode, we're going to look at a small feature and learn how to do that small thing. Uh, in this episode, it's going to be how to make a bubble particle effect. So in general, we're going to learn how to do particle effects, but specifically, we're going to make a very small little bubble that just floats to the top. And so you can see what we have going on right here. We're going to do something very similar to the three little particle emitters that you see right here outlined in these blue squares. But uh, let's go into another project and we'll start that process. Here in this uh, mostly empty project, all we have is a background image and the text salmon game. So what we're going to do is click on scene with the little plus sign and we're going to type in particle. And we're going to look for Particles 2D since this is a 2D game. You're going to notice that it's got a little exclamation mark here because it's saying that there's no material. that So it doesn't have an image so it doesn't know what to draw. It's currently trying to draw 8 of them by the emitter being on right here but it doesn't have an image so we have to make an image. First let's click on this button right here and expand all the properties. We'll scroll down and we'll look at where we have our texture. What we're going to do in this episode is load a sprite. So before we can load this sprite, we're going to need to create it. So I'll fast forward this. In a sprite, I've got a, I've made a six by six pixel PNG. So I'm going to quickly make a bubble. What's really cool about Godot, one of the things I like, is the resource folder will automatically update uh, at the same time as if you just manually added the files to the folder and vice versa. So if we go to our resources and we say open in file manager, we could drag and drop the image that we created in here. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna copy the PNG I just created and I'm gonna put that inside the images. I'll make a new folder in here and call it particles and we'll paste that PNG in there. And since I created a new folder inside of images called particles, it automatically synced up and added that folder here and added the PNG right here. So now that we've added our six by six bubble PNG, we're gonna move over to textures and add this as a texture. So I'm going to click on the load, images, particles, and click on the thing we just created. And now it's loading this as a resource. And you can see where it's at over here. So it's already emitting these bubbles. Now we can just change a few things to make it uh, the way we want it to look. We can change the position by changing these X and Y values, or we can just move it around wherever we want to put it. Rotation degree is going to determine what direction it's going. So if I put this at 180, it'll go straight up. And I can scale this as well. So if I want to make it a bigger bubble, I can say two by two, or one by one, or whatever you want. It should work with decimals as well, 1.5 by 1.5. Let's change a few things so that it doesn't look so um, static. Let's change, starting from the top, its lifetime. Let's give it a lifetime of five. Fact, that might be too much. We'll bring it down. Maybe a lifetime of four, maybe a lifetime of three. We want it to disappear slightly after exiting the, the game screen. So this is a little bit too soon, so we'll just say three is fine. So we know a little bit after it leaves the game screen, it's going to disappear. We're going to make sure the emitter's on. We'll select the number of particles we want to emit. Let's say 12. We can change the speed, so let's change the speed. It seems a little fast, so let's do 0 0.4. Slows the bubbles down a little bit. And that looks okay, 0 0.5 maybe. Explosiveness, 0 0.5. This will let them burst quicker, and like uh, you'll have a bunch of particles and then it'll slow down, a bunch of particles and it'll slow down. Randomness will uh, spread out and make it more variant. I've given it um, 0.5 speed scale, 0.5 explosiveness, 0.5 randomness with a lifetime of three, and I'm emitting 12 particles. 
using the PNG we just created as the texture. It's really as simple as that. If you want to copy this, you can uh, click over here and rename it. We'll call it Bubbles. We have to just do Control D to duplicate. So you can just press Control D to duplicate. And now we have two of them. We can put one right there. And you can make them uh, different now that we've duplicated them. If I change Bubbles 2, it won't affect Bubbles 1. So let's say this one only has 7. We'll expand all the properties. We'll give this one a smaller lifetime because we don't need it to go that far. We can change um, the explosiveness a little bit on this one. Whatever else we want to change on it, really. So we can control D and get a third one as well. Move that over to wherever we want it. And maybe change this one a little bit more. Expand all of our properties. Lifetime of 2 is also going to work fine right here. Let's change the randomness to 1. Feel free to change any of the other uh, arguments, values that you want. That's pretty much it. We've created a quick particle effect. Uh, and you can get different uses out of it just by copy pasting it with control D, duplicating it, and changing its parameters and so that you have uh, multi-use versions of that same particle. And uh, if you have uh, any questions, put them in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching. Like this video, subscribe to the channel if you want more tutorials like this. And I'd love to have you on the Discord. So there's a link in the description for the Discord. Come hang out. We do first impressions for the $20 tier on my Patreon. But if you'd like to support what I do, feel free to do that at any level that's comfortable for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.